The fourth week of former President Donald Trump's criminal trial got off to a dramatic start. The judge threatening jail time for Trump for violating his gag order. So the judge says financial penalties might not be enough, saying in quote, uh, in court, quote, I do not want to impose a jail sanction, have done everything I can to avoid doing so, but I will if necessary. Mr. Trump, before entering the courtroom, complained again about the order. As you know, they've taken away my constitutional rights, so I'm not allowed to answer that question. Uh, this has never happened in this country before. Most still believe it's unlikely for a former president to be put in jail. Kaylee Schuyler is joining us live from New York. So, Kaylee, Trump will be fined another $1,000 penalty. Matthew and Hannah, that brings Trump's total to $10,000 for gag order violations. This morning, Judge Juan Mershon held Trump in contempt for a comment about the jury. And as you all mentioned, Mershon said the last thing he wants to do is consider jail time for a former or potential future president. And Trump isn't too happy about it. You ask me a question, a simple question, I'd like to give it, but I can't talk about it. Because this judge is giving me a gag order and said you'll go to jail if you violate it. And frankly, you know what? Our Constitution is much more important than jail. It's not even close. Former Trump Organization controller Jeff McConney took the stand this morning. He described payments between Trump and Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. He said Trump signed checks to Cohen from the White House, but prosecutors did not show Trump was aware of any plan to reimburse Cohen for payments to Stormy Daniels. Then Trump Organization financial supervisor Deborah Tarasoff took the stand. She's worked there for 24 years. Court wrapped today with Tarasoff describing her job duties. She says if a payment is approved from a higher up, she's the one who cuts the check and sends it out. But ultimately, Trump is the only person who signs a check from his own personal account. Now, court will resume tomorrow at 930 with a new witness on the stand. And prosecutors say they may need a few more weeks to get through all of their witnesses. In New York, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 13 News.